My name is Jackie Ortmeyer, and I'm a junior. My majors are English and International Studies, and I'm minoring in Spanish. I didn't decide to major in English until my sophomore year. Um, when I first started, I was a music major, and then I added International Studies, but it always felt like something was missing. Um, I'd always loved English, but I didn't want to run to it right away. And finally, my sophomore year, I decided to add it, and I was stuck um, in a good way. I guess what I learned most about being an English major is that it's more than just reading and writing. Um, that's why I didn't want to do it at first, because I didn't want to be an author. I didn't want to be a teacher or a professor. But once I started taking the classes, it influenced me in so many more ways and on more of a personal level than I would have ever imagined. By far, my favorite class was Intro to Criticism, English 284. Um, that class had the most intense discussions, and it was that class that I probably learned the most about myself so far throughout all of college. Um, we talked about the most heated discussions that people have every day, um, like gender equality and political equality and, and so, so many difficult topics. And that class was so stressful and difficult, but it was also the most rewarding and it was my favorite. It has influenced me in ways that I didn't really expect. Um, reading literature is more than just learning about the author and that time period. I've actually found that I've learned a lot about myself through reading literature from different time periods. Um, and you have to ask yourself a lot of questions like, what would you do in the similar situations? And how would you handle certain things? And so it's taught me a lot about myself. I work at the Writing Center. I also attend um, uh, United Nations. It's Model United Nations in Chicago every year. And it's a conference where we, are, we each select a country and we have to represent that country as if we're at the United Nations. Um, and that's really interesting. Um, I'm reading a quote from The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. And this part is just from the end. Um, I read this book in high school, and for some reason this quote has stuck with me since then. Um, it's a little bit grave, but I just love Hugo's, Hugo's way of writing. So. In better company, they found among all those hideous carcasses two skeletons, one of which held the other in its embrace. One of these skeletons, which was that of a woman, still had a few strips of garment, which, is one, which had once been white, and around her neck was to be seen a string of adrazeric beads with a little silk bag ornamented with green glass, which was open and empty. These objects were of so little value that the executioner had probably not cared for them. The other, which, which held this one in a close embrace, was the skeleton of a man. It was noticed that his spinal column was crooked, his head seated on his shoulder blades, and that one leg was shorter than the other. Moreover, there was no fracture of the vertebrae at the nape of the neck, and it was evident that he had not been hanged. Hence, the man to whom it had belonged had come thither and had died there. When they tried to detach the skeleton which he held in his embrace, he fell to dust.